I'm Dr. Jeff Finnecker, and today we're gonna explore Earth's orbit and rotation. With Dr. Jeff. The Earth's rotation causes all kinds of patterns that we can see. Like night and day. To demonstrate this, we're gonna use this flashlight, which will represent sunlight. Here you go, Izzy. And this globe, which represents the Earth. I need the lights off. Bert, consider it done. Awesome. Izzy, go ahead and shine the sunlight on the Earth. And Zoe, you can rotate the Earth. It looks like as the Earth rotates, Izzy's light is only hitting half of the globe. That's right. Another pattern we can observe caused by Earth's rotation is the length of our shadows. Let's check it out. My shadow always seems longer and in the afternoon than in the middle of the day. That's true. Bert, would you like to help us demonstrate that? No, thanks. I'm afraid of my own shadow. OK, then we'll have to use this 3D printed model of Izzy. Hey! <laughs> Zoe, turn on the sun. The sun rises in the east, so we should start there. It looks like when the sun rises, it's lower in the sky, which casts a larger shadow. And as the Earth rotates, the sun appears higher in the sky, like at noon, and makes a shorter one. Now, the sun doesn't really travel across the sky. It just looks that way because Earth is rotating. Is that why it appears that stars move at night? That's right. Stars appear to travel across the night sky, but it's really us that's rotating. Hey kids, if you want to watch this whole episode and more, tell your teacher to sign up at generationgenius.com. We cover all science topics in grades three to five, and you get to watch it in class. But only if you tell your teacher.